All right, let's see if this is working. Excellent. All right, we're going live. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm just going to make sure that people can actually see and hear me right now. So if you are jumping on with me today and you're here, throw your favorite emoji into the comments so that I know um, that you are watching, um, just so that I know people are here. I'm a couple of minutes late, and I have to be honest. Um, I am a couple minutes late because I just had dinner. I was eating pizza. Today is our one day that we are allowed to um, have a cheat meal. And you better believe I went right for the pizza. I also ordered a salad, so we're good. Um, <laughs> Hi, Stacy. So again, if you are here, if you could throw in your favorite emoji uh, below just so that I know that you can hear me, that you can see me, that the connection is good, um, and then I will get started. Like I said, today was a cheat meal day, so I was allowed pizza for dinner, and I savored every blissful moment of it. Um, but let's dive in. So tonight, why did I come on live? Um, I wanted to touch base with my day 30 of my test results for Core to Force and talk a little bit about what I've been doing, um, why I'm seeing such amazing results, and what we're doing from there. So about a month and a half ago, um, <laughs> thanks Sarah, um, about a month and a half ago, I got an amazing email saying that I was nominated to audition to be part of a test group. So people ask me all the time, how do you get um, noticed to be in a test group for the new program releases? So the first real answer is specifically, um, Beachbody will take a look at coaches who do really, really well. That wasn't me, don't worry. <laughs> um, they usually find coaches that have been really rock stars, that have been working the business, um, who are just changing people's lives left and right. And my coach, Jillian, um, was nominated because she had an elite team last year and she was just, she's freaking fantastic, let's be honest. Um, so she was allowed to nominate a couple people on her team that she thought had huge potential. Um, and one of those nominations was myself. And the reason why she nominated me specifically was she thought that if I really dialed in on the nutrition and actually kept my nose to the grindstone, I could be successful in this program. So I got chosen to audition. I auditioned, I answered a whole lot of questions, I had to explain why I wanted to be there, send all the stuff in, and like five nerve-wracking days later, I was chosen and I screamed, it was so exciting. Um, and they kind of said, all right, super secret, you're not allowed to tell anybody, and it was killing me because I couldn't tell anyone. So anyways, I got chosen to test pilot for the next 90 days, well now 60, about what is core to force. So they asked us to commit to 30 days at a time, um, full-fledged stick to the program what is core to force so let's go back to real questions core to force core to force is mixed martial arts it's a program by Joel and Jericho um, the super trainers that have been around with Beachbody for a little while but they also had a huge history of the Les Mills program and um, Beachbody decided they wanted to collaborate with them and so about a year and a half or so ago they made the program which was great um, and they worked originally with an amazing like close test group and then we are the first ones that they weren't allowed to have their fingers on. Um, so there's about 50 of us around the country who signed in, joined in, and we decided to go all in. The program, holy crap, is amazing. If you didn't see my photos today, um, it's, it basically right now I've lost about 12 or so pounds and 15 inches in 30 days. guys. My last year with doing the Beachbody programs, I was always like, hi, hi Kim, I can see you. Um, I was always kind of like 80-20. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I can have my pizza, right, cheat meal. But then I would, you know, I wouldn't stick to it 100, 100% for it. And so when I got chosen for this opportunity, I went all in. I went 100%, I followed the meal plans, and I followed the routine. And in 30 days, I'm down 12 pounds and 15 inches. I actually think um, that I could do, have done better. This past two weeks at my work, I've been averaging about 14 hour days. It sucks, I'm not gonna lie. And so I had three or four days in which I missed my workouts, um, which I was really frustrated with myself because literally I got up, I worked, I came home, ate and I slept, that was my day. Um, and so I am really hoping in the next month or so, um, this next round is going to be better. 
Um, so let's get into some of the questions people have been asking about Core de Force. All right, some people said, what the heck did I eat the whole time? But you know what's great about this? Um, you eat food all the time. And guess the well, biggest thing that I think I learned from this program is how we starve ourselves and how we are actually not fueling ourselves enough and eating enough. I know so many men and women who say, oh my gosh, I just can't get the pounds away, I can't go the pounds away. And I ask them what they eat and they're eating like a 1100 calorie diet. They are not eating enough. You need to eat the right foods. And so every single day, like first thing in the morning, I would wake up, I would do, um, I tried to do my morning workouts first thing, which I'm not a morning person, but we tried it. I would eat um, a little mini, the bite-sized Lara bars just to get something in my stomach. Um, I then would take um, the Performance Line Energize, which I'll go into that later, which is just fabulous. I would bust out the workout. I would then die because it was a really hard workout. Sweat profusely. Um, and then I would do my Shakeology. I, you know, you can say whatever you want to say about, um, you know, ready meal meal. Uh, fixed things like that. But guess what? Shakeology is for me, it fueled me from the inner cell. Um, it made it so that I was kind of recouping after the crazy workout that I just went through and then kept me full and very satisfied. And so that'd be around seven o'clock. I'd be good until about 1130, right about time for lunch. Lunch, a lot of veggies, a lot of meat, a lot of protein. Um, I got creative with some of the foods. Um, one of the people in our group gave this amazing recipe for egg salad, which I really like, um, mixed with cottage cheese and pickles. And it sounds disgusting, but it's not. It was actually, I actually prefer it that way now. So that was kind of a staple. Um, tons of veggies. Now, I was on the highest e eating meal plan because I'm a big girl. But um, so I was allowed basically like six or seven portions of veggies a day, um, five for fruit. I had four um, carbs a day. Um, if I knew that I was going away, like I went to the Red Sox last week, and I, if I knew I was going to be really faced with some hard decisions, I would save all of my yellows for the afternoon so that if I ate a hot dog bun it was like well no is it hundred percent on the plan no but I didn't eat any of my other yellows today so that kind of balanced itself out um, but yeah I wasn't hungry that was one thing that I was really impressed at I did have to get creative because I would just want to reach in and get whatever was easy um, <laughs> yeah Dylan there was a lot of people in the uh, first test bracket that only would get like one or one little yellow and they'd be like my yellow um, but so we do use the container system in the program, um, and if you're familiar with a 21-day fix, many of the Beachbody programs are switching over to the container system because it's so simple. It's so portion control. You just have to measure it out and off you go. Um, hi, Bethany. Thank you. Um, but it is not the 21-day fix. Let me make that abundantly clear. Um, they recommend that you use the containers, but I have, from what I understand, it's probably not going to come into the base kit. Um, it might come in the challenge pack, but we can talk about that later when they give up more details. Um, but it's not 21-day fix because every week there's something different. Um, on week two, we get to add a certain container. On week three, you get to add two different containers. And I may or may not be able to say blue might be one of them. We were all like coveting it. I'm not going to explain anymore because that's going to be a surprise that comes out. But blue might be in your future. Um, so we would, uh, we would make sure that we're sticking to those programs, sticking with the container system. But every week is different because they want you to attack your metabolism as you're going all in um, and they want you to confuse your metabolism so that you're not feeling like it has to go through <laughs> yes Dylan everyone was excited about cheese um, but uh, you wanted to make sure that you were fueling yourself when you were really kicking up the workouts but there's a price to pay every week the workouts get more and more difficult now you are getting stronger but you are also definitely having to work hard for it. So you you worked hard for the, that extra little fuel. Let's put it that way. Okay, so what was my favorite thing about it? Um, I'm going to say a cuss word for a second. It's got, it kind of makes you badass. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm not a cusser, but I don't know how else to explain how it makes you feel. Like that you can just take on the world. Like you want to be like, come at me, bro. You know, we're doing kickboxing and we're doing martial arts, but it's so much more than just the martial arts. Um, 
a lot of people were like, oh, is this kind of like Turbo Kick or is this like um, Les Mills Combat? And it's very different because in the previews, you're just seeing the, um, you know, section where you're like, bam, bam, wham, bam, bam. But then the next day, you do 72 different types of push-ups. And I'm kind of not exaggerating. Um, we do so much body resistance on the floor. And I didn't think I was going to survive a lot of that. Um, so <laughs> I want to do the live sprawl for us. Chris, yes, those are called ground to fighter things when you have to basically like hit the deck and then push yourself back up like you just got knocked down and take the person out in the nose. So that was really cool. Um, but they are tough programs. I'm not going to say that you can go into this program lightly. Um, I would absolutely recommend it to everybody, but... It is um, definitely a tough program. Okay, so what else? Um, da, 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 some people asked me, how long are them? That's a really good question. Um, they range between 26 minutes and about 47 minutes. This is not your 25 minute workout. What I'd say to people is, and somebody asked me, can anybody do this? So I'm gonna answer both questions at the same time. You need to commit that this program's gonna work. It absolutely work and I will continue to share pictures from our test group and they've just literally blown me away some of the guys who are like 400 pounds are doing it they have to modify everything but they're sticking with it but you cannot go in just half you cannot go in lightly and think that you're gonna be done in 20 minutes not to say that these programs that are 20 minutes long are bad by no means this program is not meant to be in it and quit it and then you're done. It does work endurance. The days that we get the 26 minutes, you're like, oh, thank God. But there's a lot of days we do doubles. We do a workout that's 46 minutes long and then they throw you on the floor to do an, a, a, an additional core workout that's another 16 minutes long. So I do recommend that as you're getting yourself ready for this program, which launches November 1st, mentally get ready by going, I need to get myself into a routine now. Sign on for Beachbody On Demand for a free month if, you don't, if you're not a person, if you haven't signed up yet. There's a whole bunch of programs that you can do. Actually, next month my team is gonna be doing kind of like a, you know, fight for it, get ready, three week countdown for it. That program can be free, but set some time and think about what does an hour look like. Now, most people who go to the gym spend more than an hour driving, getting there, working out, showering, and coming back. Um, so I do want you to just think through, yes, an hour sometimes seems long, but those will be for the two big um, programs. And so if you are a beginner, yes, you're going to have to modify. There is a lot of, lot of hard work to it, but everything can be modified and they just tell you to keep pushing yourself. So today I can only do two reps on my toes. Tomorrow I'm going to try three. And then, in th and then three or four days when we repeat that workout again, I'm gonna try for four. I will say um, that there is a modifier. Her name is Jess Talibia, I think is her last name. Um, she, you can actually f um, follow her on Facebook and Instagram. She has a great Instagram feed. She is the modifier and it is wonderful. Um, and they're in production for some of the 2.2 DVDs, we actually haven't seen those yet, and they're gonna do a split screen, which is really cool, so that the modifier is being watched the entire time, and everybody else who's doing their little thing in the corner um, is doing theirs. Uh, Stacy says, it is a seven day a week, or is there a rest day? That's a very good question. Um, it is a seven day a week program. On the, la on the seventh day, they have a, a, pr um, a workout called Active Recovery, basically. It's not long, it's like an 18 minute workout, workout per se, and you're going through each step of the motion. It is so essential, it helps loosen up everything, um, stretches you out, mentally gets back into it, and I really recommend you doing it so that you're constantly getting yourself in. But no, it's not one of those that you work five days and you get two off. Um, they have a, a day that they have active recovery. I missed it once last week when I was sick, um, but it is what it is. Another question somebody asked me was, what products helped? Okay, so I was extremely skeptical of the performance line from Beachbody. Um, my brother is a professional athlete and he works for a performance company. 
Um, and so I was a little biased um, thinking that his company was like the only one that really could emphasize and not be um, specifically what needed for everything you needed for the workout. Um, but I gave it a go because they really recommended it. And the, what was really cool was in the group that we're in, the some of the creators of the performance line are in it, and they would do question and answers with us. So we got to really grill them for it. So some things to, to know. The Recover, which is their extra protein right after you finish workout, um, that was the one I was, I think, the skeptical of the most. And I don't use it every single day, let me clarify that. Recover is meant to rebuild the muscles, but they recommend that you don't use it unless you really destroy a workout or you've been working out for more than 45 minutes at a time. Um, so <laughs> um, the Recover, again, it will be helpful. Um, it definitely helps with um, getting rid of the lactic acid, just building up the muscles. But unless, you know, if you're doing, if you're doing a program like 22 minute hardcore, if you're going hardcore for the entire 22 minutes, then yes, recover is helpful. If you're modifying a lot and you are kind of giving it like a 70% effort, then you don't need recover for it. During the 46 minute workouts during quarter force, absolutely you need it. For the 22 minute ones, or we have like a 26 minute, you don't need it. Energize was my best friend. Um, and my husband is all, they'll fall in love with it, which has been great for our bank account because he's not going to Dunkin' Donuts every day. I love you, Dan. Um, but the um, Energize was essential. It really built up, it basically takes your cells at the molecular level and opens them up to be able to um, to really handle the, the energy that you're gonna be putting out in the workouts. Um, Hydrate, hydrate, I would say is helpful if, you, again, if you're sweating tons, but water is fine. Hydrate for me, I use every single day when I'm teaching on the pool deck because it's 90 degrees. Um, if uh, the hydrate they recommend for extreme athletes going longer than 45 minutes, they say if you're working less than 45 minutes, your body doesn't need the um the sodium, the missing sodium, or the missing nutrients that um, some of these, the, some of those really high-end sport drinks don't do Gatorade. That stuff is crap. It's just sugar. Don't do. P.S. My brother's a professional athlete. He says that all the professional athletes, even if they're sponsored by Gatorade or Powerade, they empty the bottle out and pour their own stuff in, and they just drink it from that. So don't listen to the the news hype. Um, all professional athletes say that stuff sucks. Um, but the hydrate formula is excellent and I really strongly recommend it for anybody who's teaching fitness classes or if you're teaching multiple ones. Um, the one that I really recommend, and if you buy this, is to get the recharge. Now, Chris, I know you don't like the flavor of it, so hopefully maybe they'll come out with a new flavor, but it's a vanilla-based. Holy crap, that first week you are sore. Everything hurts. Um, and I would recommend that you use that recharge any day that by the end of the day, stairs are like looking like Everest, then recharge is needed. Recharge overnight um, gets again down to the molecular level, <laughs> um, but it really does help. I don't know what magic and witchcraft is in there because we jokingly call it unicorn blood. You wake up the next morning and you just feel amazing. Um, and honestly, if you don't like the flavor, shake it up with a bunch of ice. You can also blend it, by the way. I've noticed the blend really helps. Um, and for people who are texture-based thing, I ice it, shake it up in ice, and then drink. I like the taste, personally, but um, I use a lot of ice to make sure it's super cold. But you can just do kind of like a little shot of it if you want. All right, so the product line, that's performance line is essential. Um, the other thing that I would recommend, um, they don't necessarily promote it, um, is to get a core mat, not just a yoga mat. One of those ones with this little squish. Um, I know Beachbody sells them. I have one that I inherited um, that's just like this pink thing. We do a lot of groundwork, and for me, with my shoulder rehab um, and all 200-something pounds of me, now only 216, originally 230. Um, but getting down, there's a lot of weight on your elbows when you're doing planks and things like that. So 
I would recommend getting a mat. I actually do a yoga mat on the floor and then that on top of it um, whenever I'm doing those, um, anything on the floor, except for those sprawls, as Chris calls it. Um, my ground, ground to fighter stance, those are hard. Um, so we talked about the containers. We talked about how long the programs are. Can anybody do it? Um, let's go back to that and just kind of finish on that mm -hmm. end. Guys, anybody can do this. Biggest thing I learned about this is how much nutrition is essential. One of the reasons why I'm loving these Beachbody programs so much is they're not just saying, hey, we're an infomercial, come on over here and buy our program. No, they want you to succeed. It does them no good and does not meet their mission if I remain obese. And at 250 pounds when I started my journey, I was obese. Bottom line is I was obese and unhealthy. The past year I've been doing the programs um, and there's a meal plan and the Shakeology has changed me. It's changed my family. It changed, it really helped with my grandparents were living here. Um, I recommend it to everybody. I have a client right now. Um, are those Christmas cards hanging on the mantle? No, those are birthday cards. <laughs> no, no. Um, thanks Sarah. But anyways, <coughs> Um, the Shakeology has helped and I have a client right now who's like reversing diabetes and I've got people who's reversing and their life is being changed. But then people are always like, well, it's an MLM program and it's a networking. So what? You know what? If I can help somebody, I just bought a pair of leggings that I don't even know if they're going to be a good fit for me, but it helps somebody else in a business and I like leggings. So great. I bought them. I'm going to support somebody. I'm not supporting Target. But what Beachbody does that is different is that they give you the meal plan that they want you to follow. And beforehand, I didn't follow it to a T. And when I got the opportunity, Jillian challenged me, my coach Jillian challenged me. She said, Katie, you ready to go all in? You're going to see some major results, but you have to put your nose to the grindstone. And it was hard. I work a hard and long, stressful job. Today, I did 12 and a half hours. Um, meal planning is hard. But you know what? Being obese is harder. Um, fitting into a size 18, 20 is really hard. Being told that you're too big to double up at water country and that you're too fat to ride down with your friend and you have to find some five-year-old who's willing to go down with you, that's hard. And guess what? That's a true story. So pick your heart, right? So as you are getting ready for this, anybody can do this program. But you need to go in knowing you're going to fight for it. And man, do you have to work for it. Get into this nutrition plan now. Take this next month and start finding recipes that you like. Start adding those greens. I know we hate the greens sometimes, but get into it. Discover what, what fruit really works well with you. Figure out what protein that's not a block of cheese, because everyone's like, cheese is the only protein. Um, date night Saturday, um, you know, figure out what is good, right? What is going to fuel you? If you haven't tried Shakeology yet, you know, come chat with me. I'll be happy to send you a sample of it. But for me, that was an essential protein that I needed in the morning, but it also replaced my vitamins and it also hydrated me at a molecular level. That was really, really important. So that's really it guys. Um, this, court, this program has been amazing. The other thing that I will recommend, um, Joel Freeman, who is the core, the co-creator, and Jericho McMatthews, they both have fan pages, not fan pages, excuse me, um, fan groups. Joel is the most down-to-earth hysterical trainer I have ever met. Um, he goes live on his page, and he recommends that you come and join him all the time. And he goes live, and he does question and answer like this once a week. Um, he just sent us an email to or a, a video today. He's on his flipping honeymoon um, in Cabo, Mexico, and he's like, "Good job, coaches! You're all being rock stars." And it's like so cool. Um, and he actually friend quested me, which is even the coolest thing because usually you're like, "Oh, Shalene Johnson, Tony Horton, the gods, the gods." Um, and you just think that they'll never see you. And Joel Freeman like friend requested me. He's like the nicest guy ever. Um, so I strongly recommend that you like his Joel Freeman fitness page. He's very awesome and he gives so much tips for coaching. He gives tips for healthing, health, healthing, um, being in the health fitness world and any of that. So 
If there are any other questions, let me know and you can qu ask questions in the comments and I will fill it in. November 1st, guys, this program goes live. This program's legit. Like I said, this next coming up month, if you want to join us um, and kind of get yourself in shape to fight for it in November, we're going to do a three or four week beach body on demand, um, you know, martial arts type workouts. We're going to be trying a whole bunch of different programs over the next month. Hey, guys, get real. This stuff is amazing. Um, this company is legit. They actually care. This company supports us, whether you are a customer or whether you are a coach, they truly want to end the trend of obesity. And that's what they care about. They don't care about the bottom line with the dollar because they are specifically did this program, these types of programs, so that we can fix this obesity. So with that, guys, get yourself ready. Uh, tomorrow's day one for my day 30 to 60, so I have to say goodbye to my last slice of pizza tonight, and I'm going to ready to rock it. I will touch base with you guys in a couple of weeks, and we'll go from there. Have a great night. Goodbye.